Here goes the freight train all aboard, 200 pound Dutch Express, 1200 watts, and Glenn, can you catch him at the line, 30 meters to go? Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are week number two at Glenn's Interclub race from the Netherlands, welcome back Glenn. Hey Jeff, thanks for having me again, and I'm more excited to talk about this race than last race. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so let's actually recap real fast from last week, just to keep everyone up to speed. So. Yeah, Glenn, it wasn't the it wasn't the the 2020 Glenn that I remember. Um, you still did okay, but uh, but yeah. So you are sitting third place in the sprint points competition with 11 points, and then you are eighth in the overall, six seconds behind the leader. And you're going for both, man. Why not? Yeah, why not? And damage is not <laughs> that big, so uh, yeah, everything can happen. But you got some work to do because. Uh, those, those seconds are hard to come by and those points are, are hard fought. So with that said, should we dive into week number two? Yeah, let's go. All right, Glenn, we're just two laps into this race, but things are about to blow up. And that's because there is a new competition in your interclub, fastest lap. Tell us about that. Yeah, the fastest lap. Uh, this is a huge one because you can f get five bonification seconds with um, getting the fastest lap of the day. And, and it looks like you're committing yourself to this on this lap because you... You did a thousand watts up and over this hill, and now there's a gap, and you're doing more six, seven, eight hundred watts to close this gap down. And are you thinking to yourself in this moment, like maybe I can get that bonus lap prize on this lap? So yeah, of course, because um, I started at, la at last uh, of the peloton, uh, crossing the finish line, and it had been fast, as you can see over here. We're riding uh, well over 50 k's an hour, and um, yeah, try. Uh, I thought, uh, why not try it? Yeah, start at the back, but then finish at the front. That's a good chance to, to win the prize because you know that you're faster than everybody else. But also, it must be a bit of a risk because, you know, this isn't the this isn't a, a prize lap. This isn't the final lap of the race, obviously. So this is a big commitment and energy to, to try to nab those five points. But if it doesn't work out, say the last lap is a half a second faster, then this is all for nothing, right? Yeah, exactly. But you got to be opportunistic in bike racing. And so everyone can see that I'm... Uh, committing here and um, showing that I'm strong so I, I have I, I'm, I'm a force to be reckoned with you know and it worked out for you I'm, I'm glad to report that you that this was in fact the fastest lap of this race so you were awarded the five seconds and congrats man let's um that that's going to be big like like Glenn said that's that's huge in the overall standing so let's fast forward to the first sprint points competition and see how that shakes out all right Glenn six laps in that means it's sprinting time right yeah get the preems <laughs> And look at you protecting the inside, man, like a seasoned sprinter right here. Fourth wheel with about 300 meters to go. And then here comes your lead out. Does it, does it get any better than this? Yeah, this is Red Gloves, who is leading me out perfectly. And you see me here uh, winding it up. And um, yeah, I, I, can, I have a little bit left because he's doing all the, all the work on the front. So I can uh, easily uh, get my wheel in front of him before the line. Picture perfect sprint, man. I yeah. like to see that. Unfortunately, there were, what, two riders still off the front? Yeah. What two riders and one of them, uh, yeah, is he, he's a dangerous player in the points competition. So uh, you have to sprint for every point. Yeah, they all they all add up, right, at the end of the season. Yeah. Um, so, so best of the rest. Yeah, and despite you having a good lead out, it's still a big commitment and energy, right? You're still up to like 180 beats per minute, and then the nature of this course, you're immediately hit with the the major hill on the course. So this always stings, and you don't want to do any power here, right? No. If 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 uh, if the bike race slows down, that's a good thing for me. But you see here on the left side, the leader of the of the general classification is attacking me here. In that blue jersey, and and you told me something interesting about him, right? Is he wasn't going for any of the sprint points, so he was really trying to capitalize on you guys being tired and trying to be an oppor opportunistic attack right there to try to separate himself. Yeah, that's and that's a smart tactic, because. Um, yeah, maybe if we sprinted each other so hard that we uh, didn't have the energy anymore to uh, to follow or maybe uh, look at each other. And look what it forces out of, out of you, Glenn. I mean, you had to do another 1,200 watts. That was like another sprint. And a lot of people, I think, would just say like, oh, whatever, that'll come back. And that's how breakaways get away. But yeah. you, uh, you saw the danger, you sprinted across, and you're back up to 181 beats per minute, which stings, but that's, that's an absolutely necessary effort. Should we go now to the uh, second sprint and see how that shakes out? Yeah, let's go. All right, Glenn, we're approaching our second sprint, and front camera died. It'll be back for the sprint finish, but here we have rear camera footage showing kind of the jostle here. Uh, 
this is, what, 400 meters to go. You have one more rider in front of you, and it's looking pretty good again. Yeah, I'm in good position here, and I'm just waiting for uh, the guys in front of me to kick it up so I can get a good lead out and uh, sprint to the finish. 1,300 watts, and uh, that's that's all she wrote, man. This guy's going to try to test you on the left, but he doesn't have what it takes, and... Uh, take another one down there was one rider off the front so that wasn't maximum points but this is how the sprint competition is won you guys it's consistency like you could go out there and be off the front and win a couple of uh field sprints for the the sprint competition but um it, it's the it's the week in week out that wins and guess who just went off on another attack on the right you guessed it blue jersey he really was trying to trying to catch you out of position wasn't he yeah he he did and it's a that's a good move and you have to do it you have to yeah. do it because the the offense is the best defense i think in this case yeah and he, and just like before he um he didn't even go for the sprint competition he's all in for gc and look at look at the chaos behind now you're doing this really hard effort up the hill he's forcing you to do this trying to get separation and uh does it work out i don't know let's fast forward a little bit and find out and nope it doesn't work it's all back together because of your hard work glenn and um now we're approaching, what, we're like two and a half laps to go, and I want you to pay attention to this rider in the green jersey who just is sneaking up on Glenn's left right here. This is a big team, right, Glenn? Yeah, this is one of the best uh, club teams in uh, in Holland. And this is a junior who's jo joining this team uh, next year. This is the talented guy, and he obvious um, gets the dynamic of racing because uh, the bike race was slow, and he decided to uh, take a chance. And I'm going to rewind. I want you guys to look at how he telegraphed this. So anytime you see a rider doing this right here, which is moving up towards the front, looking back over your shoulder, and then getting into the drops, and then it, I don't know if the GoPro is going to pick this up, but you'll hear a couple of clicks of gears. Those are all like obvious tells the attack is coming. So um, that's exactly what happens. But man, when he goes, he goes. That The little junior frame of his, all of probably uh, 55 kilos or, or whatever, like... Man, they can accelerate, can't they? Yeah, and uh, they were they were gone. We never saw those guys again. So that's that for the race. Spoiler alert, but um, there's still tons of sprint points available, and there's still GC time that you have to be careful for, Glenn. Uh, so let's fast forward to the, the finish and see how the, the field sprint plays out. All right, Glenn, it is field sprint time, my man. The, that group of two is off the front. They're gone, right? Yeah, we don't see them again, and this is the best best part of the bike race. And you're bumping. Look at that. You are bumping with the race leader on your right. Yeah, he's aggressive and he wanted to take my spot. But, you know, I'm over 80 kilos, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that ain't going to happen. Um, he, he, gets, he, he gets the upper hand on you there just for a second. But this guy comes on the left to the rescue, moves you up into position. And at this point, you're just thinking, how do I get to, like, second wheel with 250 meters to go, right? That's what I would be thinking. Yeah, you don't want to be uh, in front uh, too early, but also uh, there's a few corners in the last 300 meters. So um, yeah, you have to be uh, you have to be careful and you have to uh, be opportunistic uh, about the gaps who are uh, who will who will open. There's a dynamic here between like yes, I want the maximum draft possible, but I also don't want to get boxed in because right now I'm looking at this thinking like yeah, your draft is great, your position's still good, you need to move up eventually, but you're looking like in danger of potentially getting boxed in. I like it that you're moving off to the right here, to the outside, because you always want an escape plan. You'd never want to get boxed in as a sprinter. No, no, and the guy in front of me was taking uh, taking a leap forward, so uh, I was joining his wheel. And you see here the rider on the left, he's, le he's letting a gap where I can uh, throw my bike in. And s with a, Yeah, with you gotta a take that opportunity. Yeah, yeah. That was great, that was great, because you almost got boxed in, and by the time you get to third wheel, fourth wheel, here goes the freight train, all aboard <laughs> the yeah. 200 pound Dutch Express, 1200 watts, and Glenn, can you catch him at the line, 30 meters to go? I have Hell to. Yeah. Yeah, I have Hell to. yeah. Hell <laughs> yeah. Dude, that was so exciting. Yeah, I love that. I want to I wanted to play that just one more time, just that moment when you get on this enormous guy's wheel, because there is a moment here with 110 meters to go, these two riders on your left and your right both have a chance to sneak in and try to take this wheel from you. But, but Glenn, you're, you're 80 kilos of Dutch muscle and you are just all elbows and you close that gap down beautifully and that allows you to, to win that field sprint and preserve the, that place. And let's talk about the overall results now because things have changed. Yeah, they have. Okay, so first of all, right off the bat, congrats to the junior for taking the win, right? Pretty impressive. 
yeah in the field of uh, all elite riders that yeah uh, you have you have to have got some talent to uh, to win the bike race and that al- that gave him the the gc lead yeah you vaulted yourself into third overall six seconds behind in the gc competition congrats there but let's talk about sprint points man Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You are leading the sprint competition now. You have 27 points, second place, 24. So now you have the green jersey going into the third week. It's a good start to the season. Yeah, and all being opportunistic. Just sprint, 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 sprint your legs off. It will pay Glenn's off back, you guys. Glenn's <laughs> back. We, we missed him last week, but he's back. He made up for it this week. Excited to see what you can do in week number three. Guys, if you want to stay tuned, um, we got tons of exciting racing action coming up be sure to subscribe and uh glenn great having you on man thanks for having me again jeff see you next week you guys next week an urgent and horrifying news story and i need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen